All right, we just started recording, which means we'd have some tea. I gotta be careful not to spell tea on this keyboard. It is brand new. Which means we're resealing it after every sip. Sorry, that's how we gotta do now. All right. All righty then. Oh man, right out of the gate. It's classic low tier making me eat banan so soon. It really is. All right. Oh, I, I forgot my I forgot my Megans. I got to put my Megans on. There we go. Howdy, howdy. Oh man. <laughs> All right, Terra, you you simmer down for a moment cuz we got to take care of some business. Business called Skip ad. <laughs> There we go. All right. Oh. It's slightly loud. I think we can lower that just a bit. There we go. All right. Let's banana it up. Sorry, I meant Maddie. Hi, Maddie. You can ban and too. Yeah, that was kind of gross. That was kind of gross. This is my origin story becoming Banan Man. 
Not to be confused with Banana Man, who was an actual superhero. Banana Might. Yeah, in retrospect, I mean, if, if I had a lighter at my desk, I don't think I have any lighters at home. Thanks for the banana- any time! Thank you, Lotir, for making me get my potassium. Now, we've got a date with a fire boy and an ice gal. Sick trash. Oh, wow! We got- let's, uh, let's mix up the experts here. Experts? Oh, you can do this now! That's great! Abort? Are you still? Yeah, you're still doing Kate Sith because you got that sweet magic plus one. G oh, good Gizmo Buck. Eh, all right, fuck. You can switch for a little bit. Wait, what? Oh, I see. That'll do for now. I just picked up a consumable in Elden Ring that makes your weapon inflict sleep damage, and I'm just imagining dipping my sword in CBT oil and then taking a swat at a dude. That's how it works. All right, Ifrit. Oh my. Boop, boo. I'm gonna mug that boy. I don't know Blizzara yet, do I? Okay, he's immune to holy. That's fun and really fun. Hey! Dang it. Ah, fucking go! Alright, fine. Fine video game. <coughs> mm -mm. Oh yeah, Broken Cuts. Uh, was it you yesterday? He's already dead? Okay, thank god. Who was, uh, S? You told me to buy Chocobo's Mysterious Dungeon, everybody. I sure did. Um, you put enemies to sleep by slashing? You can. Hang on here. Yeah, I like I like the pummel animation. That's pretty good. Right, is she weak to holy at all? Nope, sure ain't. Could you not? Hey, Poisonas! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Oh, you know what? Let's see if I can get one of these off before Ifrit comes back. Ouch! No! Nice. Woo! That's good. Uh, can I get greedy and, get, and oh. can I get greedy and get another? Wait, was that the end of the show? No, I was I was waiting for uh, I'm waiting for Broken Quest if he's here. I just wanted to say that it's uh, oh boy, I I hope the game gets good because right now it's pissing me off. <laughs> Hi, Broken Quest. Was it you? Were we talking about Chocobo's Mysterious Dungeon? Everybody yesterday. Who are you? 
Um, here's the thing. I, I started out liking it a lot. Um, but then it... It does this thing where it over-explains things you already know. And then it doesn't explain crucial shit that I don't know. So, like, I, I unlock the blacksmith, and I'm, the blacksmith's like, You can hone your equipment in the blacksmith, but be careful, because if it fails, your the item gets weaker. Like, okay. Pretty sure that's not how blacksmiths work, but whatever game, you have your own unique system. And I had, like, I had, like, claws plus six, and I want to go hone them. And the game's like, do you want to hone these? Are you sure? Because if it fails, they'll get weak. I'm like, okay, but what's what determines that? Like, is there a percent chance? Is it based on a stat? What determines if it fails? Oh, well, it's the beginning of the game. I'm sure it will be nice to me. Yeah, hone it. Failed. Okay, so instead of getting claws plus seven, I just get claws. But like, what is it based on? The game doesn't give you any odds. It doesn't give you a percent of like this. This has a 70% chance to succeed. This has a 12% chance to succeed. It just says, you want you want to throw the dice, idiot? Seems like a bad blacksmith. Yeah, or bad game design. <laughs> dice rollers. It's like, I don't mind that system, but like, tell me what the odds are so I know if I want to roll those dice. Why? Why do it that way? Oh wait, I forgot. It's a magic bucket. I'm used to bucket. Nice. Oh wait. I think uh, Ifrit gives. No, that's strength. If Shiva gives a whole lot of nothing. That's unfortunate. I fucking love buckets. Actually. Next level in 2405. She's on Kirin. She'd rather have Sheba. Yeah, I think I figured. I think it's just the. This music is so fucking- it's great, I love it. I think I figured out that, um, oh no, god damn it, fuck that shit. Alright, fine. Oh, how'd you survive? Oh, you didn't. <laughs> cool. Well, I guess I'm going back to the bucket. Because I don't really have that many Phoenix down. I think I figured out what the issue is. It's, it's not so much that I have an issue with Edgar's redesign. It's- it's the color palette. It's the oversaturation. Um... The- the oversaturation comes through... So far, in two things. Edgar, and the world map. I don't know if it's how the whole game looks and it's just only noticeable there, or if for some reason those two things, they decided to oversaturate, but like... Edgar, and the world map are just color balanced wrong. Back to the Bucket is my fave movie franchise. It's really good. Fuck. All we gotta do is kill you fast. I'm almost surprised they didn't add color edit to the Pixel Remasters. That seems like a... That, I mean... It's not RPG Maker. ba bum 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 can we just, can, we, can lock level? Pools. <clears throat> yes! Uh, support it. Oh, oh wow, this is gonna take a while. And already we got another boss. Oh, well, not yet. Oh man, it shows you the hidden destroyer! It shows you the hidden areas, that's pretty cool. Another boss, there's another boss though. I mean, these destroyers almost look like our pal boss though. Oh, whoops, I don't need sick trash doing that. Another Tratino also. Nyampatsu! Hi, Sandball! How's it ballin'? 
I heard you won uh, best baller. Stone blade. The legend continues. Oh, it's not. Um, you're, you're gonna do more magic than you are attacking. So. Uh, I mean, I guess. Not that you're attacking, but I do like to see number go up. I'm gonna do work on basically no sleep and also a weekly injection thing. Hey, well, if it's a weekly injection thing that you are on board with, I think that sounds great. And not, you know, <laughs> you're going to hang out with a stranger who's like, hey, can I shoot you up with this? It's, it's Mott's apple juice. It's really good. All right. We are ready to go for another boss, though. Uh, yeah, let's go. It's applesauce instead. Oh, gross! No, that you're, that, you're gonna clot. Roger clots. Boop, 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 boop. That's, that's some sick damn, damn wash. Overflow. Oh, no! Overflow! Stole a room blade. Oh, no overflow! Nothing to steal. So, what I've heard, um... and seen on Twitter is, that um, apparently this game has a lot of bugs, so... I'm not sure... I mean, I don't think we've run into any yet. However, I was watching Quest Moreland stream the game yesterday, and he got to the cutscene on the Leet River, um, where Sabin goes overboard, and Sabin went overboard, but Sabin was also still on the raft. <laughs> and they're... Uh, Terra and Edgar and Bannon are talking about Sabin like he's just long gone. And he's just, just kind of standing next to him. Um, I saw a bug. Someone entered Albrook in the World of Ruin. And then exited. And they were in the World of Balance. <laughs> and then re-entered. And it was World of Balance Albrook. So that's, that's a huge bug. Um, yeah, stuff's not great. Oh, thank God. All right. Celeste, I'm removing all your stuff. Why? You'll find out. It's fine. It's, don't worry about it. long to live. Oh, look at that cute little carbuncle on the right. Look at that carby. Just floating. Chunky floating boy. Well, now, he, now he's dead. Now he's magicite. We got the uh, raincoat condom Sid. He's also got a mustache, I guess. Never, never read that as a mustache. But now I can see it. Now it's all clear. He's a crystal now. I love magicite. I want, like, I want I want a one-to-one -one scale recreation of a magicite. Because I imagine they just look like... Silver beans. Like silver beans with a square jewel in the center. I want one so bad. We're gonna feed Sid. Uh, we, we are saving Sid. I refuse to let Sid die. Because it's because it makes Celeste sad. We can't have that. Don't eat the magicite. Don't tell me what to do. What's her name, Miku? I'm not a spy. Oh, I know who that is. Uh, Ted? Kafka. Oh, now I get a ton of Magicite. I'm pretty sure one of them has a Magic Plus 2. Sick Trash, believe me. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> and I don't think George Washington will ever be the same. Why do these two goons, why do these two guards have a slightly lighter color palette? 
It's the same as the guards uh, when the, when the Kefka goes nuts in Thamasa. Is it is it to signify that they are guards that even within the Empire or are more loyal to Kefka than the Emperor? Why is there a separate, slightly different color palette for certain guards? Kefka's guards. Kefka's elite guard. The green on Kefka is hella I love it. He looks like he looks like Kefka. Oh yeah, the other the other thing about uh, Chocobo's mysterious dungeon that pissed me off was um, I'm doing a dungeon where these doors can either lead you to um, I think it's called duel duel or shop shop or duel a teleporter will lead you either to a tough monster or a shop where you can go shopping and I got one that was a shop and I noticed next to the shopkeep there was an item and so I. Examine the item. It's like, do you want to take these, this, uh, these thief, what is it, thief memories? And I'm like, oh yeah, this must be how I get new jobs. I bet if I get this item, I can, I can access the thief job. So I, it's like, do you want to take these thief memories? Yes. Do you really want it? Are you sure? And I'm like, well, video game, unless you tell me what the repercussions are, I don't know. I just fucking started playing. Like, you need to explain your shit to me. So the game's like, do you really want to take these thief memories? I'm like, yeah, because you haven't told me otherwise. Why not? Why I shouldn't? So I do. And I fucking fight the shopkeep who kills me in two hits. <laughs> like, fucking game. You need to explain your shit to me. Do you really want to take... I don't know. You haven't told me why I wouldn't want to, you fucking idiot. Hi, everybody. Don't steal. Well, I think... I don't know. I think I have to steal if I want to be a thief. All right. We got some new... Espers. Who's got strength? No. No. Alright, Maduin's magic plus one. That'll do. That'll do for now. What do you want right now, Kate? Those aren't terribly useful. Float is useful. I take it all back. Siren. Well, those are not terribly useful. Let's. Why don't we give you something a little more your speed? What would a thief enjoy? Carbuncle. Ladies and gentlemen, for tonight's performance, the part of Carbuncle will be played by Locke Cole. Oh, well, saved over our. If we wanted to see the other opera languages, I guess we can't now. Hey, buddy. Hatsune Miku. He's going to call you thief from now on. I'm imagining a really smug digital face saying that in game. <laughs> but, like, why give me two text boxes? I examine the thing. Do you want to take it? Yes. Do you really want to take it, though? I don't know, game. Do I really? It's fucking... Tell me what your shit is before you kill me. Whoa! This is the biggest glow up so far, because even on the Super... Even for the Super Famicom, it, that looked not good. <laughs> wow, this is... Do you really want to equip Carbo? I think I do! This is so much better. Like, even as a kid, even as an 11 year old playing this game when it was new, I remember thinking, this looks like garbage. <laughs> uh, Super Nintendo can do so much better. Why did they do this? Wow! But you might gain one spirit monkus. I don't need a spirit monkus. I did it. And I learned Confuse. I really uh I wonder how hard it is to mod the music. <laughs> Cause this is great, the music's fantastic. I wanna insert the, the Burberry Kimijima cover of this song. Cause it's obscene. Wow! Flame scroll.
it actually feels like we are escaping a Magitech facility. Because on, on the Super Nintendo, it just felt like you were escaping a bunch of muddy squares. This is gorgeous. Oh, oh, no. SNES games love their mind, because they sure do! FF6, Mario RPG, Donkey Kong Country. What else? Dragon Quest V. <laughs> Transition to Terrace theme is lovely. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'll drink tea. What are you gonna do? Oh god, hang on. Ma oh, it's just Magna Rotors. <gasps> Alright, here we go. I don't think there's anything worth stealing from this dingus. And I'm pretty sure I don't want to do this because one of those absorbs fire, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Oh no, huh. Hey, that works. Stop it. Don't you dare. Whoa, and I stole a knife! That was cool. I think that was a knife, Kazakiri. I think that's Wind Slash in the, the Woolsey translation. Got it, Zayis. All right, time to slow it down. Here's one. Oh God! Look out, sir. Sorry. You, you. They're all. They all get. They all have insurance, right? Through the Empire Emperor. Is anyone level five? No. Awesome. <gasps> That's new, isn't it? What's new? Wow, this background's great. You can see the empire. The random goon on the magic karma getting rushed by the marker. No, that was in the original. That was in the original. All right, here comes Han Folo. <laughs> Where's Hatsune Miku? Even though I misspelled foe, I, I I will I'll use a rename card as soon as I find one. Wow, looking good. Yeah, this does look very that does look very Blade Runner. It looks like one of those matte paintings. Gonna laugh if you get the debilitator here. <laughs> Why is that? What's wrong with getting the debilitator from time to time? <gasps> it's the Frasier on the Niles. Hi, my name's Matt Paintings. I'm an art dealer. Oh, wow. I don't like the look of those things. I don't like the looks of those teenagers. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh my god. Oh man, I gotta have sets. I guess I do. Stop. 
I think Drill's still gonna do more than Flash. Oh god, big! <laughs> Mugu Mugu? I can very clearly see the slots just kind of janking themselves to Chocobo. Oh, he's... D okay. So wait a minute! Hold on! Some bosses retain the Crack Crack Sizzle. Some bosses that didn't have it now get it? These things did not have Crack Crack Sizzle on the Super Nintendo. Tunnel Armor did. They are reversed in this version. Tunnel armor just poofed out like an enemy. And these things crack, crack, sizzle. So I don't know what's going on. Ooh. Doo -doo -doo. The ocean is just a little too purple. I look, I love purple. I just bought this controller today. <laughs> but that's the that's a real purple ocean. Let's go back to the- Who's Maddie? Han Folo, how do you not know who Maddie is? She's the hottest commercial director in town, and she's only 25. Hell yeah, purple controller. I mean, I, I mean, I wanted to use it tonight to play a FF14, but I don't own a USB uh, to Type C adapter. And yeah, why would why would Sony include one of those with their fucking $80 controller? That that would <laughs> they wouldn't do that. Neon green grass and Doma purple. Yeah, it's not great. The color balance is whack. It's the only thing that really stands out as as being just off. Everything else is great. Like overall, I think this is a great port or re re somethinging, remastering. Can't charge it off your Switch charger. Um, it's not just the charging. It's the fact that I want to use it plugged in. The whole reason I bought. A PS5 controller is because my DualShock 4, the, the micro USB keeps popping out, or the computer thinks it keeps popping out. If I just hold my controller slightly wrong, Windows goes, -da -boop, and then I, I turn it back slightly and it goes, -boop -boop. but like, why? I didn't unplug it. You thought I did, because you're dumb. Because uh, micro USB is garbage. Uh, but this is USB Type C. So hopefully it, it stays in more securely and snugly. Uh, uh, basically, the, it all boils down to I don't trust the wireless. I've had too many fuck-ups with wireless controllers when it counted. You just want a cable to snuggle. So exactly! Oh my god. Hey, pull yourself together. Wait, is this a... <gasps> Not to leave her here. Return with her. <gasps> is that why they called her Maddie? Because her dad's name is Maduin? And her mom's name is... Wait, is her mom's name Madonna? Both of their names start with mad. And so does their daughter. That's great. It all it all comes around. I'll give you a charm from the Esper world. That's where we are. Um I mean normally you have to go through customs before you can come in here, so just as a formality, we're gonna have to go back to the gate so the guy can just just flip open your luggage. It's just it'll just take like five minutes. Those are my actual parents' names. <laughs> Maduin and Madonna. I believe it. The Mad Family. And these are my sisters. Mad... Mad Genta and... Uh... <laughs> Maddox. I don't know. 
The human left. Well, good. What's wrong, Madwin? I miss the girl. Hello, nightlight. This gives off Beauty and the Beast vibes. If you don't want to go- Oh, wait, Tim. If you don't want to go back to your world, you're welcome to stay here. Oh, God. He's really clumsily just asking for this booty call. Um, like, and it's really far to go back to your dorm. Like, you can just stay here if you want. Like, I don't care. I don't even care. How can- how do we know? We- we're n we can't coexist unless we fuck. Well, slightly, slightly overt. Just- just a little bit. G-rated mating. This is how you- yes. This is how Babby is formed. Ta-da! And Maddie was born. Look at that baby Maddie. Look at that little baby. Look at that beeb. I've chosen a name for her. Green hair. What is it? Maddie. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's weird witnessing my own birth. Well, we all have to someday. What? Two years later. Two years later. The nexus between our worlds is open again. This storm is just like the one two years ago. Oh, no. But this is different from the time Madeline- wait a minute. <laughs> so, in the Wolsey translation, her name is Madonna. In this- I guess in the GBA localization, they change it to Madeline. What is it in Japanese? I thought- I, I was pretty sure it was Madonna in Japanese as well. The Espers did not see this coming. Two- yeah, there's two of you now! Your mom is- is the more formal you. Your mom is you, but wearing like a like a business power suit. Like you're going to the office to give dudes what for. My mom is me, but teaching. Okay, but wait, you're teaching! Hi. Look at that beeb! Look at that little Maddie beeb. Look at that little, little jelly bean. Maddie's all right. That's what the kids call me. Oh, okay. Interesting. I, w I would have thought you'd go by Maddie Sensei. But I, I stand corrected. Hey guys, don't don't badmouth uh, Madeline out loud, cause she'll okay, she'll hear you. And she'll scamper away. The other world holds nothing for me. I don't want them to be able to find- Ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I had to- like my- my last week at my elementary schools, one of the- one of the boys was like, Alex Sensei, you play Dragon Quest X! Tell me your character name and what server you usually play on. And I'm like, I can't though. <laughs> like I love it would be really fun if we could play DQ10 together, but like legally I'm kinda not allowed. Even though I'm not gonna be at this job one week from now, like I just I can't. He was one of my uh six years. His English was really good. But and now I'll never see him again. Friendly Tom Berry, hot yes, I'm in Esperland, Esperville. Madurin, she's named like the pastry. Oh, okay, interesting. That's not how you katakana is your name, is it? That's that that seems more like the French style. Are you loving it? This is your favorite part? It's pretty good. Oh, Emperor is wearing his red pajamas. You're Madurin. That I like Madurin. That's cute. No, just when the ultimate treasure was within my grasp. Oh, sir. It's not Esper's, it's actually... It's not friendship, what's the other one? Love. Bye. Eventually he might come to the bar, that would be great. He's welcome to. I love Esper Town. This should have spawned its own RPG for me. <laughs> um, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of surprised they didn't do like a spin-off. Madouin's Adventures in Esper Town. Esperton. Genju Monogatari. Will you come back home with me? Again with the booty call. Yes, of course. Oh no! Maddie! Oh, Maddie just got sucked through the hole. 
And so did Madeline. <laughs> and so did Maduin. This is very confusing. Maduin and Madeline. A human woman and a babe. <gasps> oh no, the Emperor is taking Maddie. Leave my daughter alone. Maddie, when your mom. She must be the product of a human and how fascinating. Sucked into the secret of Mana Box Art. That's how they get you. The extinction, the extinction event of my species. Getting sucked through holes. No. Give me back my baby. Hang on, I'm still trying to... I'm st I still... I'm not entirely sure how that sprite works. It was confusing to me on the Super Nintendo, and it's confusing to me here, too. The one in the middle, which is supposed to be woman on ground. On the Super Nintendo, I thought it was just somebody with, like, a burlap sack over them and weird red hair. But it's, it's flipped. The red is the skirt. The burlap sack is the hair. I still don't quite... I guess those are the hands. I guess the little balls of the hands. What's the yellow? Is that a hair ornament? I thought it was a mole. Hey, Alex, you're streaming again. They just got stuck. <laughs> Hi, Ike. Welcome to Hull Town. Looks like things are about to get interesting. <gasps> this sax is great. Or is that a clarinet? That's a sax. So I'm the daughter of an Esper and a human. That's why I have these abilities. I should be okay now. I can control this power as long as I only use it in short bursts. Sack on my phone. Gastel already knew the secret of the Esper's power back then. He's a real smart old man. It was confusing for me too. Yeah, right? Hatsune Miku's power. I'll hit that Emperor with a blitz or two. I'll support. That's your answer to everything. He turns off the TV with a blitz. Paging Mr. Saxophone. And as an Esther, I'm allergic to soapy water when it's mixed with grease, so I cannot do the dishes. I'm sorry, you guys will have <laughs> an Esther. Oh, you do? That's right. I forgot. Friendly Tomberry does speech to text, so we get crazy shit like Esther. Oh, I love it. Wait, Friendly Tomberry. Uh, what's the longest film monologue that you know, and how fast can you say it? Because I want to see what the text is, what the speech to text makes of it. Oh, by all means, take a turn at the wheel. Let me teach you how to fly. I know how. Don't you think I know how to fly? You degenerate gambler. Yeah, I got it. No. I love that uh, Half Life 2 mod, dear Esper. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Uh, oh, so we have a little bit of freedom right now. And to start, I think we're going to go get our pal Mog. Mog. Moag. Um... Yeah, sure. It's time for Mog. Yeah, this is a good group. Do I want to level? Actually, yeah. You know what, Locke? You're great and everything. But we, we are going to need to level Setzer a little bit. Oh, I missed the old sound effect. It's Esper time for your mom. Mog. Mog, 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 mog. Plot, 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 Uh-oh. Tintinambulum. Koopo Koopo. Yeah, I also had to turn the voice acting off on Chocobo's dungeon, because it was... It was not good! 
It wasn't bad. It was just, it was very over the top Saturday morning cartoon American accents. I don't know. FF14 has conditioned me to only accept European accents for my fantasy shit. I don't want to hear Americans telling me about magic towers. Mog the Mog. No. Alright, everyone gets an amulet. No, not yet, I guess. Ribbon. Where's my ribbon? Where's my ribbon? She gets the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Uh, support still has Maduin. Sorry, Maddie. You can't equip your dad. <laughs> what about Canadians? Do they at least have a place in the mountains or do they seem a pro Um, no. Not as much as I love Canada. I think, uh, North American accents. North American English accents have no place in fantasy. Breach Blast! Fish Blast, your boss. Sure, well, what do I want her to learn? Uh, no. Actually, do look real good to me. She will learn Fyra naturally. So let's give her... Yeah, let's not forget, Vanish is not as useful in this version. <laughs> Thundara. Actually, I do kind of want to give her her dad. Day! Actually. Fuck. Alright. Alright, she's getting Kate Sith for that magic, magic up. Gamblor, I don't know what you- I guess HP. We're basically just very cold, poor Americans. No, 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 Why, why? Why are five equipped? Boy, I could have sworn I unequipped one from... Wait, what? Setzer. Support. Sick Trash. Oh, I... Okay. So, here's a difference in this version. Let me just confirm. No, okay, alright. So, because this version allows you to swap espers... Why did it- why, why didn't it unequip- Okay, there's one of two things happening right now. Either it switches espers when you select one that someone else has equipped, or there's a bug where it forgot to unequip Locke's esper when I selected unequip everybody not in my party. But if that's the case, it didn't switch espers the first time I tried- Oh, right, I'm just keeping my eyes out for more bugs. Our attack country is just farms, construction, work, and shoveling still. Like it's the hardest, shittiest work possible. If you don't smile and be polite, life can get real miserable. That's just kind of what Canadians are, how they are. The English only started talking like that in the 19th century. I've heard that. I've heard that. That they just kind of sounded like Americans do now before the 19th century. But is that really true? There's still schools that people get sent to to learn how to pronounce words. All posh, like it's actually kind of crazy to me. Like it's a okay, really. Wow. Odd. Oh, you know what? We're going to Narsh. I'll, get to, I'll heal anyway. Gizmo still doesn't... What? Oh, you're right! Thank you, Lowell Roo. Wait. But, but why, though? I, I... Okay. Hey, guys! I think we have a glitch on our hands. <laughs> I want you to have Unicorn. Okay, so... Yeah, I've already found a stupid difference. Um, this does not unequip espers of people who are not in your party. I have to manually put them back- It's No, it's a bad glitch. Um, it's either a glitch or an oversight. I have to manually put Locke back in my party to unequip his esper? Are you fucking serious? Oh, that's... that's not okay in any way! 
Oh, fuck off. That's the whole point of the dude standing there asking if you want to unequip people who are not in your party. Fuck off. Ugh. French language was made intentionally difficult to spell and pronounce only the upper class could use it properly. Well, that ain't working out so hot. Is that true? That sounds like an urban legend you'd hear in, in your high school French class. Dude, I heard the reason this was real hard is because they didn't want poor people to use it. Is there a way to message them or something, like, right away? Message... Message who? Ah, that is true of the Chinese written language. Oh, boy. That's why we gotta fuck with kanji now. Alright, let's go get Mog. Let's go get our favorite Moogle. I also want... Yeah, I want to fill out everything on the map. So let's just hop in here. Say hi. Chocobo stable. Que. <gasps> Chocobo dreams, that's where you live! Sounds extremely made up, but they really did get together and make their language more difficult to keep poor as immigrants from integrating the society. Wow! Wait, what? Okay. Oh boy, maybe I should have asked uh, Setzer to explain the controls to me, because, uh... What happened to the... Oh, it's L2 now! There, okay. It used to be Y. I missed when it was Y. Alright, well, either way. A, the keyboard was designed to slow you down typing and put the letters in a way that would make it slow as possible for you to type because it kept jamming up typewriters and wearing out certain buttons too fast. True story. Look up the other different styles they made to make you super fast. They just never connect to some of these. Okay. I'll take your word. I don't want to have to. I guess I do. It's meeting time. Oh, that's good tea. Typewriters, the arms hitting the paper could get crossed up, so they put them out of alphabet. Huh. Interesting. And that engineer's name was Mavis Beacon. Love this sax. Do not love dry skin in the winter. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers to sex! Cheers to dry skin. <laughs> Cheers to Kefka's recent charity work. Of poisoning Doma. <laughs> uh, Alright. First of all, give me that. Alright, they want me to go to the sealed gate. Make friends with espers. Not doing that yet. We're going to make friends with Mog. Oh wait. I think I might need to there might be a plot flag in the the, the shed. I think I need to see Lone Wolf escaping first. Clock licks are gross. There we go. Caught in the act. <gasps> oh. Hey. Come here. 
Come here, you can't escape me. You can't escape me, Wolf. I'm Lone Wolf the Pickpocket. This treasure's mine now. Watch me jump through the wall. Oh. That's my <laughs> that's my John C. Riley. What do you think? Um Common letter groupings. These people don't have much, but at least they have a clux. Okay. I can't Friendly Tonberry, it, it you're you're reciting entire novels into your speech to text, which makes it too long for me to read. So I'm gonna assume that what you said was hilarious. But there's there he is. <laughs> Dude, that's so much text. Uh He's got what there? A gold hairpin? Yeah, it's a gold hairpin. Mog with John C. Riley voice. <laughs> Maybe I will do that. Uh, um, hey everybody. Did you know that I'm a Moogle and I have a charm? And if, you, if I equip it, you don't fight battles. That's really just me doing Paula Tompkins doing John C. Riley. <laughs> Not to be confused with John C. McGinley. These fucking ponder ring ass archways. I'm just lonely. It's fine. We're all lonely sometimes in the morning. I'm just giving you guff. I'm just poking your sassafras. Boop, 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 boop. Are we gonna do a dance collection? Yes, we are, Lil Rue. Everything except snowman jazz. Unless you can, unless there's a way to get snowman jazz in the world of balance now, I don't think there is, is there? I think that's the only one you can't. Boop, boop, boop. Where's Bucket? I'm Mr. Bucket. <gasps> oh, jeez. It's far enough. Come one step closer, and the Moogle gets it. Favorite side do the server trench loop again because I love that entire course. Is still there. Yeah, of course. Kubo! Got a wild one. Hold still, you little. Oh! You'll never get this. Oh, good. It's not in quotes this time. <laughs> I always found it weird that it was in quotes on the Super Nintendo version. You'll never get this gold hairpin. You can't even do air quotes right now because he's, he's hanging on a ledge. All right, Mog, I need you, buddy. You can talk? A talking Moogle? <laughs> a Moogle who speaks the language of humans and can summon the Earth's power through his dance. What are we calling this Moogle? Daddy, now's your chip. Barge you! <laughs> Beautiful. Why Bart Jr. <laughs> Why Bart Jr.? <laughs> it's a good name, though. Good morning, Aravive. We just got Bart Jr. So, oh, it's about Bart names one of the lizards. That's what I named my lizard as a kid. Bart Jr. and Chirpy Boy. <laughs> Hi, Bart Jr. Oh, man. For some reason, the, in the Woolsey translation, he calls Ramu an old psycho. I think that was just... I think Mog was just intended to be, like, edgier. Mog was supposed to be the Poochie character. <laughs> Barju. Your friends can call you Barju. Bye, Wolf. Go wait on my airship, Mog. Thank you. Remember when Mog hired monsters to start in this game? Yes! I love that commercial. Um... So that- I love that commercial. I love the magazine ad. Uh, where Mog just smokes a bunch of monsters. And... I love Mog so much that when this game came out... I took a picture of Mog... An official drawing of Mog, probably from the ad. 
or from the instruction manual. Took it to the airbrush guy at the mall and he put it on a t-shirt for me and it looked so good. It was my favorite t-shirt. I was so excited and I wore I wore it out. I wore that t-shirt until it was nothing but threads. I had Mog on the mind. I thought you were going to say Mog. He, Mog smoked a bunch of cigarettes and then his dad caught him and he had to smoke the entire carton. It was real, real embarrassing. Gosh, I really love Mog a whole lot. Me too! Mog's great. Mog's your cuddly buddy. I was kind of thought to be more the lone wolf for that guy, Siegfried. Maybe I just don't know enough about the game. I wish they had finished uh, the whole Siegfried subplot. It's a shame they didn't. Alright, who are we kicking? Oh, boy. <coughs> who we kick for Mog? I guess Han. So there isn't anything else with Siegfried? Um, no, there's a- uh, So he shows up in two more places. He shows up originally on the Phantom Train, of course. Uh, then you see him... Uh, later on in the world of ruin, in a cave, on your when you're sneaking into Figaro Castle. <laughs> what does he say? On the hum, let's go. But all he does is like he goes ahead of you and he steals a treasure and then he leaves and he's gone. Um, and then you see him working at the Colosseum because he owes Ultros some money. I think the whole subplot was supposed to be like Siegfried is trying to impress Ultros by stealing rare treasure, and. There's some scenes of him stealing treasure, and then he's working at Ultros' Coliseum. There's no other intimations that they know each other, or are friends, or are even competitors. It's unfortunate. <gasps> Mog! Kupapo! Kupopo. Those brothers hanging with the brothers, you'll be hooked on the brothers. And we'll take Maddie. I feel like it was supposed to be some kind of parody of the Gilgamesh thing, and they just kind of gave up. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Like. Siegfried is very clearly supposed to be some kind of bounty hunter or treasure hunter because he's got a gun. Like, he has a sword and a gun. I mean, I feel like he was supposed to be, like, I guess, I, I, similar to Gilgamesh in that he's comic relief, but I don't know how much more beyond that. All right. Bart Jr. Oh, Bartina. This Moogle. This magic Moogle. Sniper sight. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's have Mog jump. Why not? He's a jumper. Okay, once again, video game, stop defaulting to front row. I feel like I could go fight a battle, go to the sub screen, and the game would have redefaulted to front row. Like, why? Why have rows if you're not gonna let me keep the one I like? I have two sets of Hermes sandals? I tell you what. Yeah, you know what? Nah, it's probably fine. I right, Google mentioned his ultimate weapons, both of them in Final Fantasy Rock Keeper, who's my tank. I had to move where he would transform into the 12 iron version. Lucky. I got into Record Keeper for a little while, but I just couldn't stick with it. a full cassette of oldies with Moogle lyrics or a track the fight command is for suckers that's what I said bow, bow, bow. <laughs> if you like your rope you can't keep it all right meow 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 so you have to pee and poo there's really no short way of doing this, is there? You have to go from... You have to do the whole loop. So I guess we'll, I guess we'll land at South Figaro. 
Know what I mean? Ba -ba -ba -ba. You can start anywhere in the loop and you have to do the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I, I know, I know. I was just seeing if there was some, like, sick tech that was recently discovered where, like, actually, you can just step on this one square and it'll trigger a fight on a water background. But no, we, we are doing it the way I did it when I was 11. Because there's still no better way. Just gonna get everybody... There we go. I can keep was good, I don't usually like stuff like that, but it was good! There's Wind Rhapsody. Yeah, Mog's in the lead, because that's how Mog do. Mount Colts. Learning dances for a Moogle man named Mog, because he likes him dancing. I should get several. But but those commercials taught me there had to be a there has to be a better way. There is. But not for this. <laughs> How'd you learn to dance? You just have to use it in a new spot. Yeah, you have to um win a battle in a new background without using dance in that fight. It's the rising phoenix! And apparently, he has to be on the ground. Oh no, I already knew that one, right? That's a uh, cave fun. What was it called? Twilight Requiem. <laughs> I like cave fun better. Gorgeous. Earth Blues! It's fluty, I like it. This still looks to me like a chameleon with like a, a stealth camo and uh, trying to do a stealth invisibility thing. I guess it's supposed to be a vine. How is support doing, by the way? What's your TNL, buddy? Uh, soon. Oh, but you already you have Madu and Equip, so you're fine. Oh, Mog doesn't have anything. Sorry, Mog. I forgot you might want magic. I miss it, but I guess you're trying to get everything in one route. No, not everything. I don't think you can get, uh, Love Sonata. Nice. Thank you, Shambas. Kambas. Chambas. Who needs magic when you can dance? That's a good point. No, you shouldn't. Yeah, right? I mean, it doesn't matter. Who, who cares? Why do I need to do it in one route? I'm not- this- this ain't retro achievements. I don't need to do your arbitrary bullshit anymore. I can have fun with video game. Uh... Yeah, HP. Yeah, I just- I'll just go grab it in Zozo. That's what I always do. It's right there. Yes, um, yeah, Vector and Zozo, I think, are the only two places in World of Balance. Just trying to think of what my old water route were. Trillium. Poo poo and pee pee and pee and poo. Bless you. God damn it. So bright.
Not that I need to save, but I will. Alright, let's teach this Moogle how water does. Oh, thank god the raft is just waiting for me. Water harmony! There we go. What do you- I wait, wait. You get your water stuff here, which I guess explains this route. I don't- what do you mean? It's like there's only one route, right? To get water. You go from South Figaro to Mount Colts, the Returners Hideout to the Leet River and then you just you go through Trip and Trench Works too aren't they the same? You park in the belt with the airship you take a boat around right but I'm just gonna follow this and see where it spits me out Oh, you know what it is? I thought they I thought they were the same. Uh that's not how you spell Sabin. I thought they were the same for the longest time. Cause the the game the game very briefly makes reference to a landslide blocking the way to Nikea. And later on that does get cleared up. And for years I assumed it it was just flavor text and nothing was getting cleared up. So I would literally go I would do both routes, because I thought you had to. Um, and then I think... Not recently, but after a while I learned, oh yeah, like... Th they weren't kidding about the landslide, it's gone now. You can, you can just walk to Nikea. That, that's my confusion. I thought there was only one route for the longest time. Billy Joel. I'm silly for Billy. Whoops. God damn it. This is where I would put something heavy on the controller and go to school. I need to go do dumb things in my face and go to work, so please have a nice- Thanks, Sandball! Good luck with your face! And work. In that order. Have a good lunch. And day. <gasps> oh, man, he's so close to leveling. Especially Signor Voce. Thank you, Sandball. Says Voce. Letter to the Sandy Sandbone. Well, he's mastered Maduin. Got a ways to go before a level up, so why don't we give you... I feel like everyone should have some utility emergency magic. Yeah, cure. Or cura. That's a unicorn. Alright, everyone's gonna speed learn cure. Just because it's handy.
Lesser Lopros. Lauren Lapkus. She's not in this. Bart Jr. learned bio. It's a classic Bart. Jr. Splish. This is the spot where you can just go around. You can't your first time through here because there's a landslide. But then later on in the game, it does go away. Fancy that! So you can learn water, Rondo, without having to go all the way around, though. Lovely. Thank you. Hop aboard. Lovely. Oh, he's smuggling me out of town. Thanks, buddy. Oh, geez, you're heavy. Can't be too careful. All right, let's uh, let's see what other ones we need here. We got half. There's three more we can get here. Let's go get Love Sonata. Love Serenade. Um, did I? Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go north and do this. It's here. I don't remember if I got the forest one. Forest Nocturne, there we go. 
How about the desert? Tau! Th thanks for bringing your goons on in here. Everyone come on in, take a seat, have a couch. Have a poof, sit on the poof ottoman. Desert lullaby, there we go. That that's all for the world of balance, right? That's seven. What up, Tau? Thank you for the radio. Were you playing video game? Two, four, six, seven. We did it. I bet I can find out what it was. Oh my god! Carcass grinder. Oh, classic carcass grinder. Goons. Goons what? Hide goons. Retro! I've never heard of this. Just kidding, I have. All right, let's go hang out with the Empire. Boop, boop, boop. I mean, Espers, we're going to hang out with Espers. Poke, oh right, you're doing Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Very nice, which one do you think is the strongest at this point? Which one, what? Character? Bop, 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 bop. Dance, um. I don't know. I never really use the dances. I just like to have them because <laughs> I like Mog. I like Mog as a character, not so much as a dancer. I know Rhythm is a dancer. I should have named him Rhythm. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Yeah, we'll take Mog. We'll take Mog along. We're going to meet the Espers. His water dance is pretty good. I think that's what I'll stick with then. The rhythm is gonna get you. Chambas. Steam version. Um. Yes. That's that's how we have the font mod. I think uh, Steam version is the only version worth playing because you can mod the horrible font into a good font. <laughs> do, do, do. Meet the Espers. <laughs> Wait, that's the Flintstones. Espers. Meet the Espers. Flintstones theme, or Jetson's theme doesn't even have lyrics. No, yeah, it does. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Meet George Jetson. Yes, there we go. Meet George Jetson, Jane, his wife, their boy Elroy, their daughter Judy, their dog Astro. Those are, are those, do those count as lyrics? <laughs> I guess. Are we still, all right, ladies, now let's get in formation. We are in formation. No, we're not quite. There we go. Um, so for this dungeon, everyone's going to need Zombo protection. If you want to play with it, Water Harm is really good if you don't mind risking the stun ball. Yeah, no, I remember when I was a kid, Water Harmony or Water Rondo, as it is in the Woolsey localization, is what I would use most of the time because I missed it the first time around. So when I started a new game after that, I made sure to get Water Rondo and I made sure to have Mog use it all the time because it was this cool rare thing that I missed the first time I played. Um, oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting it's equipped now. Alright, so sorry, Sabs, you're gonna lose an earring. You're gonna need. You're losing an earring, but you're gaining a sun. You're, and you're gonna need a amulet. Hero's ring. Yeah, amulet. White cape. Well, you're gonna be dancing, so you can take off them boots. Ribbon. Perfect. Have you ever heard of Nintendo? I sure have. Bup, bup, bup. All right, let's do a quick save. Oh. I think most of us did the first time because we didn't know we could. Yeah, I didn't know there were there were gonna be missables. My son is also <laughs> I think as a kid, I just I didn't I didn't like the concept of missables in RPGs wasn't a thing to me. So when FF uh, six pulled that shit on me, I was like, "You excuse me, you what, mate? I can't get that. I, Shadow's like dead, dead." Uh, my first playthrough of this game, like right when it came out, I missed Water Rondo, I missed Shadow, because Shadow died, because <laughs> I didn't wait for him. Um, I missed a whole lot of shit. And then when I, after that, I, I 
read magazines and bought the strategy guide. And then I, I was... I was ready! I had two strategy guides. I had the official strategy guide and the weird strategy guide that was, uh... Written by someone transcribing the Japanese strategy guide. And so the guy was full of items and abilities and weapons and other names that just are not in this version. Alright. Nailed it. First try. Yeah, Kane, okay, that's uh, that's one of them. That's I have that at the bar. That is sitting at the bar for folks who want to play a fifth six. Alright, does that... Well, it hurts me a little bit. Okay. Does this not work the same way that it did <laughs> on the Super Nintendo? Oh, fun. Alright, um... Let's find out which... I'm pretty sure it's those guys up there that eat fire. To find out more about how to do this puzzle, go to playonline.com. Use code BONERMONSTER. Get flashed! El Nino! Oh! I guess, uh, hey, that's a little oversight. For folks who who did font mods for FF6, you're gonna need that tilde. Interesting to some people. <laughs> Interesting to me. This is different. Super Famicom gave you a free space. Wait, what? Yeah, this is different. This is not as lenient with your movements. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die. If you want to learn more about FF6, follow Hooded Patuki. Patuki. El Nino means the Nino. This flashlight is powerful. There we go. Is this right? Yes, thank God. Oh, wait, I want that. I'm still dumb. Still dumb after all these years. Wait. Cool. Hi, everybody. Oh, plasma! Who's up for some plasma? Show of hands. Who's into plasma? Get flashed. Cool. Well, that sucked.
Vucenice plasma cor buces robobones. Fauce. Robo but robones. Kind of funny how the game has just made a lot of areas of water, but no volcano tango. Okay, I gotta get ready for bed. Work tomorrow, all that jazz. Oh, good night, Maddie. Enjoy work tomorrow. Have a good one. Oyasumi Madadin Sensei. See you later. <gasps> Let's get a sick trash. Cool. level up. You know what, let's give her the... No. No. Hi, Ether. That's beautiful. Alright, so if he's gonna fuck it up, it just says the name. In the original, if he was gonna fuck up a dance, it didn't even say anything. It wouldn't even say water harmony. He would just step out there, fuck it up, step right back. Here, if he fucks it up, it says the name of the dance, not the name of the move. So it still kind of tips it off. Asuna, nice. Do I want... Yeah, sure. Yeah! No! Bart Jr! I most drum between risking a stumble at random battles or just hitting the reliable move. Yeah, I've, I've certainly... I've certainly used Mog less as I, as I grow up. I remember I always used Mog as a kid just because he's Mog. Look at him, he's great. And then recently I'm like, yeah, but dances aren't that great. I, he, he, I guess he gets, his magic is pretty good. But other than that, I don't know. What is, what's this Kazakiri I found two of? Oh, they're for Cyan. Good. Makes a really nutty dragoon if you just slap a strength esper on him for you. Okay, maybe I maybe something to do. I just I feel like I feel like Sabin and Edgar are just so broken that I never really think about specking out any other characters any particular way. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, I guess at the end of the game you do need... You need a third busted person. 
but even then it's yeah I have a strong opinion on the third busted DPS I bet you do El Nino oh beautiful bubbles It was actually when I did when I did the low level run. It was really, it was really fun trying to come up with uh, you know enough damage. Yes. Genji offering strength medicine terror because trance. Oh yeah, I could see that. Good enough. You know what? Good time to use a sleeping bag. Oh shit. Hi. Don't stop. Rice question. Do a quick save. Alright, I think uh, very soon I have to make my wife a burrito. But until then, we're exploring this deadly cave. It's not even that deadly. I think we ended up using the offering in that low level run to get bonkers damage out of lock with the uh, chicken knife. Was it chicken knife? Or brave blade? Valiant knife, that's what it was. Yeah, chicken knife and brave blade are FF5. Wow. Raccoon! Aw. Oh, cool. cool. That's really cool. Brave Blade and Beyond! <laughs> chicken knife for- oh, chicken knife for life! Chicken life. Anybody have rays? Other than the dead person? <laughs> no. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I guess. Okay. What, okay, I want you to sort everyone's like that. That would be great. Yeah? Yeah! Did I misunderstand the question? You know, while we're here, let's do... Let's do one of these. Just in case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I take it that's what I don't want. This 
I was, I was hoping you would elaborate. You don't have to. <laughs> oh, I see. I mean, just because it does. I mean, that that's also taking the time to run to power the knife up. Uh, and then, what is it? If you if you dual wield, if you put it in your offhand, you can negate the run effect. So yeah, taking that into account, then yeah, chicken knife is busted. Hey, Neil Antoine, it's FF Sace. We're gonna meet some Esper pals. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what makes the knife busted. You run enough. I think the, the attack caps out at plus 127. You run however many hundreds of times to get it there. And then you put it in a ninja's offhand, or anybody dual wielding. And then it just does bonkers damage for free. Like for the Genji? It's kind of like that, yeah. The way that dual handing works in these games is prone to uh, glitches and oversights. I know it worked out that was where would have I thought like the more fights you fought that you didn't run away that it would start to get weaker again because of Oh no no no. Those uh those weapons they don't revert. Ultima weapon, look at that. That's a lie. Yeah, I didn't understand how Ultima Weapon worked until way later. The first time I played the game, I found it, and then I went to my equip, and it said attack, plus 255. I'm like, oh, I just found the best sword in the game, and then I equip it, and I used it in battle, and it did, it did dick damage. I'm like, oh, so it's a joke weapon. Oh, I get it. Well, never using this again. about the curse shield too I always thought it was just garbage just so much oh yeah that was uh I learned about that early on is it based on it yeah it's based on your I think it's based on your I think it's just straight up your HP value so if you have a low max HP you're not really ever gonna do much damage with it but if you have a high max HP and you're at max HP then it's gonna do a lot of damage <coughs> And it looks cool, yeah, it's a cool lightsaber. Gizmo Buck learned dispel. Thanks to the Figaro public school system. I like that it's just called, it's called Magisite, Magisite Shard in this localization, because the Ted Woolsey version just called it Magisite. And for the longest time I thought, oh, I just got an Esper, but it didn't tell me what the name of the Esper was? But I don't see any new Espers in my Esper list? What's going on? Oh, can somebody tap the sign for Neo Antoine? Did I not update the stream title? Well, I guess I'll do it. Look at sign. There we go. Bop, 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 bop. Wait a minute. Yes. Cat jet. Tap, tap, tap. There we go.
This is the sealed gate. It's where magic lives. Dare you enter and go beyond its fantastic threshold? You do dare. We're counting on you, Maddie. I know that laugh. It's clown. It's clown man. Good looking bridge. Clown strife. <laughs> Yeah, I love this Kefka. This Kefka sprite's real good. This part of the game I never understood. I think this was supposed to be something else, and they just either forgot or didn't flesh it out. Because you get instructions. Right? We have to keep Kefka busy until Maddie passes through the gate. I thought there was there's like a timed boss fight. And it's not. It's just... It's this. You just hit him. And that's it. You hit him once. It's it's bizarre. When the game talks to the player and says something like, keep Kefka busy until the gate opens, it, your brain is like, alright, I gotta focus. I've gotta... I gotta make sure I'm fighting this dude. Otherwise... He's gonna stop her from opening the door, and then I'll have to start it over. Oh, it's done. I just hit him once. That could have been subtitled for the whole game. Keep Kefka busy. <laughs> it's all your favorite pals. Oh, Clown Strife. <laughs> I mean, I guess, if it was- if the game was from the point of view of Kafka. I'm surprised nobody's done that fan mod. FF6 from Kafka's POV. Kafka's easily distracted, that's true. It's Maddie! Why is she floating? Is it be- Oh! Oh! It's because these are our battle sprites, and everybody has float on them right now. Except... My other three guys weren't floating? I don't understand. Um, the pixel remaster seems to be very glitchy. From what I've seen. Oh, look at that elephant face. Where'd the espers go? We better head back to the airship. Well, what do you know? There's a little shortcut there. Is there any sick treasure? No. Yeah, she- wait! She still has float on her, why don't the other three? What is going on? Video game, you're not making sense. Oh, my Esper's gone! She's a so sweepy baby. She has ascended! Wow. Huh? What's that? Oh my god, look at that beautiful airship. What's wrong, Maddie? I can feel them! 
There, a flash. I did have a very long day today, so I'm gonna... I think when it's time to make my wife a burrito, I'm gonna call it there. But until then, let's make friends with espers. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, this is awkward. Sorry for long message, man. I'm trying to get so excited in the future. It's fine. I don't actually care. It's just, it's... <laughs> I mean, it, it's my fault because I insist on reading everybody's chat messages out loud. Unless they're obviously trolling. So I try to read all of them. Like, I didn't realize there was... Oh, there... I mean, only sometimes. <laughs> Emergency landing! I like to read chat messages out loud because I want people to know that I'm paying attention. Captain, we are going down! Oh god, watch out for all of the mountains. You- and the sand. Crunch. Oh goodness. Oh, I like that they finally added an appropriate background for when you're on the airship. Because if you guys remember, in the original version, the airship had one background, and it was clouds. And for this part of the game, when the airship has crash-landed onto the grass, they didn't want to have to make a grass background, so they just recolored the cloud background dark green and hoped we wouldn't notice <laughs> in the original game. Here, they're just like, eh, fuck it, it's, it's, well, it's all black. Oh, hi. Nidder. Hi. All right, folks, that's it for me. I gotta go. I gotta go make my wife a burrito. I'm gonna save here. And then I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Neo, Antoine, Friendly Tom, Barry, Nuclear Landlord, Decatars, Tau. Thank you for the Rado. Ah, uh, Godspeed. I'm gonna make my wife a burrito. Probably gonna play FF14 for a bit. Thank you, Cleban. Then probably gonna play some Earthbound in bed or Chocobo's Boner Dungeon or whatever the fuck. Um, mm, thanks for the stream. Have a good burrito. I'm gonna. Maybe I'll catch you later. Maybe. Thanks, everybody. Kickstarter.